And in our health cast today, another really just curious finding about COVID. In some people, it appears to induce seizures, even for those who've never suffered anything like an epileptic seizure in the past. There are two uh, possibilities. The first one, the patient may develop a complication from the COVID, for example, a stroke, hemorrhage in the brain, encephalitis, which means an inflammation of the brain, encephalopathy, that may lead into seizures or even eventually to epilepsy, or you may develop or you may have a seizure just because of the coronavirus. We don't know why it happens. So much we don't know about COVID-19. Dr. Camilo Garcia, though, with the Cleveland Clinic Weston says, while it's known the coronavirus does affect the lungs, the, the connection rather to seizures does suggest it could also go to the brain. And the risk could be compounded by lifestyle behaviors like smoking or underlying health conditions as well, including high blood pressure. Meantime, there are two recent reports highlighting the grim toll this pandemic is taking on nurses all around the globe. An analysis from the International Council of Nurses found that 1,500 nurses have died from COVID-19 as of October 31st. What's more, that number includes nurses from only 44 of the world's 195 countries, which the ICN said would be really just an underestimate of the nursing deaths. The organization projects that more than 20,000 healthcare workers could have died from the virus so far. Now, the authors say the data shows that as many nurses have died during the pandemic, as died in World War One. 